Welcome to the Business Wisdom Podcast, where business strategist Clive Enova shares his inner business wisdom with you. Each episode is packed with his experience to help you grow and develop your own business wisdom. Join Clive as he shares his wisdom with you. Hello and welcome to the Business Wisdom Podcast. My name is Clive Enova and as a business strategist, I help you discover clarity to more easily engage with more of your ideal clients more often. The Business Wisdom Podcast covers issues confronting people in business and provides solutions to overcome those issues. In this episode, I'm looking at managing your business mindset. Essentially, your business mindset is the way you think about your business. It is recognising that how you mentally approach business and its challenges has a direct impact on your likelihood of success. This success includes how your brand is perceived, the services and products that you offer, the leadership of your staff, and the processes you embrace to get where you want to go. There are different types of mindset in business, including growth and fixed But the critical thing at this time is that your attitude will impact your business. Whatever your attitude is will directly impact the business. Whatever result you are achieving can be identified in your attitude. Your business mindset impacts culture, morale, opportunity, growth, and of course, personal mental health. So what is business mindset? Well, basically, how you think about your business. It is recognising that how you approach business and its challenges mentally has an impact on your likelihood of success. This success includes how your brand is perceived, the services and products you offer, the leadership you provide, and the processes you embrace to deliver your customer outcomes and to arrive wherever it is that you want to be. So let's look at what tools you can engage to assist with managing your mindset. First and foremost, Plan your path forward. Forget about dwelling in the past. We want to look forward and we want to make a plan which is going to clearly define what it is that we have to do in order to achieve whatever it is that we want to achieve. It's all about looking forward. Very much we want to know what happened in the past so that we can identify the things that worked and also identify the things that didn't work. We want to take on those things that did work. And of course, we want to leave behind those things that didn't work. So the tools that we want to work with are resilience, faith, and willpower. But most importantly, we want to focus on those things that you can control rather than those that you cannot and invest your mental energy in the future, not the past. As part of this, believe in what you do. And of course, believe in you. This means realising and holding firm in your mind that you have the ability and the power to reach your business destination, whatever that is. Believe that you will succeed. You'll do this using similar tools to the ones that you used when you started in the first place. And chances are, of course, that along the journey, since you started, you've picked up a few more. Most importantly, Know why you're doing whatever it is that you're doing. If you aren't clear on why you're here, now is the time to define very clearly the why behind your business. In identifying this, include what you offer others and what your business should offer you. In other words, why do you get up in the morning? What gets you out of bed? Keeping why you are doing What you are doing as a top of mind topic will keep you inspired and motivated. Then it's a good idea to share that with others, including your staff, because it will also keep them energised and engaged. You want to stay aware that everything around you is presenting opportunity. Even mistakes are opportunity. Treating mistakes and errors as opportunities to learn and evolve allows you to free yourself and your business to keep reaching for the goals you have set for yourself and the business, rather than lamenting what might have been or worrying about what was. And it's a good idea to take the time to pursue learning. To arm yourself with new tools and insights will motivate and encourage you and your business to move forward. 
and part of this will mean developing daily habits. Good habits, of course. Daily habits and success have been linked together as long as humans have been around. Daily habits remove a great deal of the struggle, allowing processes to occur effortlessly at a time and within established time frames that are already set. When developing daily habits, look to what works for you and your business and then stick to them. Yours might be totally different to everyone else, and that's how it works. Your business is unique. Notwithstanding that it might look like somebody else's business just down the road, and you might even sell very similar products or services, your business is unique and different in many aspects to every other business. So getting the daily habits right means you know your process. And whilst you might revise them from time to time for greater efficiency, process should be at the heart of what you do. Processes also allow for quicker and easier decision making, meaning you can move forward quickly without overthinking the little things. Just as a clear understanding of what your client expects as an outcome allows you to better deliver that outcome, clear instructions to your staff delivers better outcomes for you and the business. Clearly outlining the planned path forward will allow you to engage the team, inspire their passion, their confidence and their loyalty, all of which delivers better outcomes all round. So mindset is all about knowing your why. Many of you will have heard this before. Mindset is all about knowing your why. You must know your why. Many will be asking, but what does it actually mean? In its simplest form, your why is the reason you do whatever it is that you do. Understanding that very clearly means you are in a great position to identify your ideal client. Your ideal client is the one you deliver for, not the other ones. When you understand clearly and can clearly articulate what it is you do, how you do it, where you do it, when you do it, and under what conditions you do it, then it becomes easier to know who your ideal client is. And knowing your ideal client means you can find more of them. Working with your ideal client means that you have better outcomes, you have those outcomes more often, and that will mean you can enjoy your business more fully. It also means that you will find it much easier to maintain the right business mindset. The right business mindset will give you all of the things that you want in your business, including the time to enjoy being away from your business. In a nutshell, that's mindset. Your mindset determines what result you get from your business. Be sure to tune into more episodes and find out more about how to run a business, how to have a life and run a business. And as always, wherever you are, whatever it is that you do, go forward with positive intent, a kind heart and a generous spirit. Thanks for joining Clive. Remember to subscribe for more business wisdom. Want to work with Clive? Book a discovery call with him at enovagroup.com.au.